So let's go ahead and talk about how you can get into Corporate Citizen Playbook Powerbook. So <clears throat> this is one of the things that's going on. You can use promo code YouTube to get in and you can just hit purchase and then you would go up here and you would put in the YouTube and this gets you the discounted price. Now, there is no discounted price for the payment plan. Just need to put that out there because I get a lot of people who sign up and then they'll go in and they're like, it doesn't work. Oh no, it doesn't work. Now, this is one of the things that you wanna do. Now, here's another thing. You got the payment plan for the YouTube course. There is no, that, that's the discounted price. And one of the things that you guys need to know is in the YouTube course, there's a lot that's going to go down. So if you're kind of sitting around just waiting to see what I'm going to do, don't wait. What you want to do is go ahead and get in the YouTube course because there's a lot of things that you have to do before you make your first video. And this is one of the reasons there's 51 million YouTube channels and the majority of them will never get to 10,000 subscribers. The majority of them will never make any real livable money. Now, what are we talking about livable money? We're talking about the kind of money to pay your mortgage, to pay for your cars. We're talking 5,000, 10,000, $15,000 per month. That's what we're, the goal is to get you to that kind of money from your YouTube channel and in today's current environment. There are so many ways to get there it will literally blow your mind. So go below the video and you can go ahead and enroll in this YouTube channel course, or you can enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook where you will get everything that I am putting out this year, including the YouTube channel course. That's all I got for you guys. Go ahead and enroll today. I will see you later. What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about selling training from a broken YouTube channel. Now, there's something that I need to put out. Uh, I've been getting, I wake up every morning to a ton of messages saying, the promo code is broken. All right. The promo code doesn't work for the payment plan. Now, I'm gonna speak as respectfully as I can. You financed a car, maybe you financed a house, maybe you have a loan, and you know, you already know that if you have to get something on a payment plan, it's gonna be more. You already know that. So hopefully this clears up a lot of the stuff that's going on. And fortunately, 95% of the people who signed up for the course are doing the one and done. And that's one of the points that I want to break about selling from a broken YouTube channel. One of the things, and this is going to be in the training because this is very, very important. And it's your audience. Now I did quite well last month selling surprised me. And one of the things is, this is why is the let's let's go ahead and talk. Why is the YouTube channel broken? Because I have done intentional things, I have made moves, I've stopped posting certain type of content, I refuse to get into YouTube beefs. I refuse. I don't care who makes a video about me, I'm not going to address it, I'm not going to talk about it. And from what I've seen, that behavior has been quite the um, godsend because I've not had a crazy over the top comment in maybe four weeks. And I used to get 35 to 50 of these type of comments per day. So the revamp, and once again, let me explain to you what I'm doing because this is gonna be part of the training. And I'm going to say there were some things that was wrong because at one point I was talking about YouTube and YouTube and setting up black content creators. 
And I had to really, really dive into myself and look at what I was doing. And the reason that I got what I got was because of what I posted on my YouTube channel. And I realized that, and I realized that if I started posting different content and stayed away from the drama field content, like there are some guys, and I, I will give these guys a shout out who address the men's training and bought into the course and was doing the things. Shout out to those guys. There was nothing but most respect. But that was a problem. That was a problem because Alan, rest in peace, Alan. Uh, Alan Roger Curry and I had this conversation many times. And just the average man doesn't want to actually go up and speak to a woman. It's just, they just don't want to do it. They want to dive in her DMs. Or they want to somehow, what I feel, and I'm going to say this as plainly as I can, is the average man wants to be chased by women. And the average woman doesn't want to chase men. So that climate is something that is really somewhat toxic at the moment. And that's one of the reasons that I have exited the men's content creation. I'm just not doing it because the audience it's just, you know, there are some men who want to do that. There are some men who want to stand up. There are some men who want to be manly. But a lot of men just don't, just don't. And um, that's why I've exited. And looking at the broken YouTube channel, and when I say broken, I mean compared, you know, I used to get three, 400,000 views a month. Last month, I got... 85,000 views, which is the highest this channel has gotten all year. Highest it's gotten all year. So the channel is broken because I broke it and I made some moves and I've calculated some things all the way to December. And I have to say, um, we're doing way better than I thought we would because I honestly, I'll share this with you. I did not really expect to be making money until September, October, because I thought that my uh, intentions of breaking the YouTube channel, the revamping, the changing of the names, it just drove, it, it pissed off a lot of people, and I understand that. And it drove a lot of people away, and I understand that. And a lot of people got um, sick of me. Just go ahead and put it bluntly. And then once I figured out that I had broken the channel enough, because essentially I had a bunch of people who were subscribed to the channel who didn't want to start businesses. And anytime I mentioned something about uh, business or YouTube or suing something to make money, I literally had people leaving these expressions. Bruh, everybody ain't trying to make a lot of money. And once again, Shout out to the Nerd Tribe. I saw people in the comments, it's like, why are you watching this channel? I mean, once again, so I'm starting to see, because honestly, uh, I feel that I have cultivated a better crowd of watchers, a greater audience, a more curious audience, because one of the things that I noticed is that I am getting much, much, better questions. I'm getting much, much better comments. I am getting, so, you know, the revamp worked. It actually worked. I've had some YouTubers try to start YouTube beefs. I had people come in like, so-and-so said this about you. What's your answer? And I'm gonna tell you, I don't watch anyone's YouTube channel that I feel has had a negative opinion to me. I don't, I have no clue to what these people are doing. I don't watch their channels. I don't know what they're doing. If they put out a YouTube video about me, only way that I'm going to know about it is if you guys tell me because I'm not watching. And that's kind of something that's part of the productivity course. Um, and this is something that Gary Vee has said, and I found this to be true. When people are speaking negative about you, put out more positive content. And that's what I've been doing. I've gotten rid of certain content and I've gotten rid of certain videos 
and I've gotten rid of, and the response has been marvelous. It's been a great, it's been like, wow, this is good. YouTube is actually fun again. At one point, YouTube wasn't fun. I would wake up, all these crazy comments. I was just sitting there like, man, we got to do something about this. <laughs> we got to change up the whole process. We've got to um, do this from a different perspective. We, we got to change it up. We've got to make some moves. And that's why I broke the YouTube channel. And this is why I was getting the results that I was getting. And it's gonna be a long, hard road back to where I used to be. But what I feel, and this is very, very important for you because this is gonna be in the YouTube training, is your audience is everything. Your audience is everything. And I respect and appreciate my audience because right now, after the revamping, after all the stuff, I've got a very good group of people. I have, um, like, like I said, some of these comments are just like blowing my mind because people are actually watching the videos and they're leaving comments that are related to the videos. And that is one of the best things in my mind to happen as a content creator. So yeah, you know, the channel is, is broke because I broke it, but I feel that the broken channel is better than what I actually put out before because, you know, I've been doing YouTube 14 years and sometimes you get a little full of yourself. You get a little bit like, oh, I can get away with this. I can get away with that. And honestly, I got away with a lot of stuff for many, many years, many, many years. And then um, I've literally looked at my content, looked at my training. And I will say, even though I did take some liberties, the overwhelming majority of the content, I would say 99.99% of the content I put out was positive and helpful. So that, that's one of the reasons that a lot of people rock with me. So, cause you know, but yeah, I'm just sitting here, you know, I woke up today and the day was uh, a day I had to do some this morning. So I didn't actually start working until like about two, 2 PM. And today it was just really, really interesting to wake up to observe what was happening on my YouTube channels. And it was nothing but positive, nothing but positivity, uh, good comments. And I'm just sitting there like, yes, this is what I want. And, you know, looking at the whole procedure, ask me if I would break the YouTube channels again. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would do it all over again. I would do it. I would do it all over again because the thing is, and I'm gonna say this as respectfully as I can, if you're not interested in building a business, if you don't wanna make more money, that's your choice, that's your life. And I would ask you, why would you be here when that's what we're talking about? It makes no sense. So one of the things that we will get into because, you know, I like during the revamp, I was putting up a lot of business videos and they were just falling, falling flat because I had so many people here who didn't want to start a business, who didn't want to go that route. And I had to withstand the pain and I had to do some things a little differently. And I had to actually situate myself in a different mindset, a different perspective, a different level of activity. And yeah, that's, 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 we're just going to keep going on and we're going to keep doing the things we need to do because, um, 
and a fr- I had a conversation with a friend this weekend and we were just talking about it. And, um, you know, he said that your, your policy, cause he watches the channel. He said, your new policy is much, much better than your old policy. I mean, so yeah, there, there's going to be some more changes, but they're not going to be as drastic as those original changes. It, it's not going to be anything like that, but there will be some more changes. There will be some more things that we will do and there will be more things that we will build because I'm very, very excited about the new training. I'm very excited about the things that are going on. And one of the things that I find to be really, really interesting because this weekend I started the YouTube training and I've been on YouTube 14 going on 15 years. And there, there's, there's a certain way that you have to do it. There's a certain way that you have to set up a YouTube channel. Cause right now I can tell you right now is the best time to set up a brand new YouTube channel. And what, what do I mean by brand new YouTube channel? YouTube is doing some stuff to brand new YouTube channel. You, YouTube is pushing brand new YouTube channels. Like I have never seen before. I am seeing YouTube channels that have four and five videos. And their first video got a hundred thousand views. So what I, you know, cause this is the thing I've been on YouTube, like I said, 14 years and I've seen so much, I've seen cycles come and this is something else. How many of the original YouTubers that were on YouTube 10 years ago are still here? Hardly any of them. They grew up. And this, this is one of the big changes that's happening with YouTube. Uh, there's, uh, there's an article. I think it's on CNBC and it was talking about YouTubers and people who were influencers who they started being do YouTubers when they were really, really young. Like I'm the teenagers, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. And they, they started to grow up and they started to realize I don't want to do this, you know, this YouTube thing or this influencer thing forever. I just simply don't want to do it. Uh, there's a name and you can look her up. Her name is Jenna marbles. She stopped making videos almost three years ago. YouTube channel, 20,000 subscribers. She had more, she's lost some and she still gets over a million, million views per month, even though she hasn't made a video in cause you know, Jenna, Jenna kind of went through a process. I remember how she grew. I remember the stuff that she used to put out and Jenna just got older because here's the thing. If you start a YouTube channel as a child, literally there's a lot of people who started YouTube channels as children. I'm talking 12, 13, 14 years old. And you start to grow up because here's the thing. And this is one of the reasons that I stay away from inflammatory content. This is one of the reasons that, I have made some opinions about people. I used to talk about people. I've stopped that. Content creation can be very, very inflammatory. If you're doing it wrong, there's a guy named Leafy. There was a guy named drama alerts. All these guys are gone because it's the same thing as being a, a celebrity, a Hollywood person. There's only so many times you can go through that cycle before you just burn out. And one of the things I'm seeing is the average lifespan of a YouTuber is three to seven years. Total time, three to seven years, because when you get into um, doing these pranks, like there was one YouTube channel where this guy actually had a t-shirt made with one of his friend's girlfriends on the t-shirt and they were running around and you know, that type of content will bring you an audience. It will bring you an audience and that audience is not going to be anything you can do with anything with it's, that's going to bring you an audience that you're not going to be able to build with, you know, cause that's just entertainment. It's just entertainment. And one of the things that I have learned is there are many, many different audiences on YouTube. Uh, the plain bagel, 
he's tapped into an audience of people who want realistic monetary advice. You know, he's got videos on his YouTube channel is talking investing probably won't make you rich. That's one of his top tier videos. And he talks about, you know, he's got a video and they're talking about bricks and he's like, more than likely it ain't going to happen soon. Same thing I happened. So there's an audience on YouTube for truthful, real content. And there's an audience on YouTube that likes, um, inflammatory, uh, entertainment hype stuff. There, there's a, there's virtually an audience for anything you want to do on YouTube. There's an audience there. There's a girl who I think is very attractive. Uh, she does try ons. She'll go ahead and order from this brand and she'll try on these and, and she gets views, you know, she gets views, but she has a lovely personality as well. And one of the things that I am seeing is the beginning of YouTube. Now YouTube started in 2005. And what I'm saying is the beginning of a new YouTube. YouTube has a lot of really smart people who are running it. And YouTube doesn't just sit still. This is what killed Vine. Vine just did one of those things that just sat still. YouTube keeps innovating, keeps making itself better, and it keeps changing, which can be frustrating as a content creator because some stuff that you were working on that you were doing really well, um, it just won't work with the new YouTube. And this is one of the reasons that a lot of older YouTubers, YouTubers who have channels seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13 years old, there's a group of people who kept up with the changes and their channel reflects that. And there's a group of people who never kept up with their channel. I mean, there's um, a channel, it's got 3.5 million subscribers. And every time they put out a video, they get maybe 700 to 1200 views, which means that the majority of their subscribers have tuned out to what they're putting out. And they did not keep up with the changes. So with this new, because like, you know, there are many people and I, I'll say this, I'll speak honestly about it. Is YouTube saturated? Let's talk about what saturation is. Is YouTube saturated with crappy, dull, like it, it, I came across another video and the guy had a shot of him making his coffee, him walking in the kitchen, sliding the cup under the coffee. Who wants to see you making your coffee? See, is YouTube saturated with dull, senseless, uneducational content? Absolutely. Is YouTube saturated with brilliant, high level content? Nope, mm -mm, not even close. There is so much room for brand new YouTubers to come to the content, come to the platform and literally explode because they're like Caleb Hammer. That's a, that's a primary example. He, he brought something to the personal finance space that no one was doing. No one was doing what Caleb Hammer was doing. He brought it to there. So there's a lot of room for proper growth. And in my YouTube course, I put some stuff in there because I have taken multiple YouTube courses. I've never seen this stuff in these YouTube courses. They don't even talk about this because here's the thing. And Let's take Savage Finance. I set Savage Finance up correctly. And this will be in the YouTube training, how to set up. Because right now, we're just dealing with things you need to do on the back end to get yourself set up before we even get to the. Because see, here, here's the thing. There's so many things you need to do before you even make your first video. And this is where there's like 51 million YouTube channels. And a lot of people just pull out their cell phone and they form, they create a video and they throw it up on YouTube. That's what a lot of people do. There's no planning, there's no research, there, there's nothing. And when I started Savage Finance, I had a concept, I had a plan, and it started off really, really nice. Then I, once again, I made a mistake. I put up a video that really did well, and this video ruined the channel. It literally ruined the channel. Because 
you know, this, this is some stuff that's going to be in the YouTube training because one video can set your channel on fire, meaning it can make it grow or one video can actually turn the direction of your channel. And that one video turned the direction of the channel into an area I did not want to be in. And this is the thing. I made not one, not two, but three videos in a similar vein in the same month and they all took off. And I lost my original audience. I got a new audience. I got a new audience of people, but that's how I destroyed Savage Finance. See, I can tell you exactly at what moment I destroyed Savage Finance. Uh, one of the things I can do is analyze a YouTube channel. I can look at it. I can go to Social Blade and it, it's a little harder now because YouTube used to be able to go to their oldest video. YouTube removed that feature, feature for most channels. But I can pretty much do a little analysis and figure out what video made their channel pop. And you know, I if I wanted to have a multi-million subscriber channel, there's all type of foolishness that I can get into. And that's what gets you these channels, like um, the plain bagel, his name, he's got like 600, I think. You will not see, well, that's not true, because there, there's other channels, like Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast isn't the biggest YouTube channel on the platform. He's not. And there, there's so many things that are going on, but I feel that right now, with the right information, with the right direction is probably the best time in the history to start a brand new YouTube channel. Because one of the things, and this, this is something I'm seeing, uh, uh, this, this is, this, this is kind of interesting. There was a person that I used to mention by name who put out all of these side hustle videos and the audience, the audience is getting smarter and smarter and smarter. And she started to lose views and she started to lose everything. And what she has done is she has deleted all of the videos off of her YouTube channel and her TikTok channel. The ones that, because people were literally going on TikTok and talking about she was a scammer. And she deleted all of those videos. And then she made some new videos that were better where she explained stuff. She went more in depth. She took off again. So, you know, because her channel was broken and not because she intentionally did it. Her channel got broke because the audience was smarting up. And I'm starting to see that a lot of people who are watching these, let's call them the side hustle YouTubers. They're like, I'm starting to see in the comments, the only person making money from this is you because you're putting out these videos. I'm starting to see those type of comments over and over and over again because see, Right now, we're going through a real, real session where people are, because you know, like look at the jobs report, right? The economy created all these jobs, right? Did the economy create good jobs? Did the economy create bad jobs? And I feel that the majority of these jobs that were created are low paying jobs. These are the kind of jobs that you just, you just get into it and you get stuck. So we're feeling some real economic pain and people are looking for real pathways to make money. And they're finding out that a lot of these, um, let's call them temporarily lucrative side hustles. There's a lot of things that will work for a few weeks or a few months and then in a crash. And people are getting smarter and smarter and smarter and they're realizing that a lot of this stuff just simply doesn't work. And they, they're realizing that the only reason that the YouTuber put that out there, like YouTube automation, um, YouTube, YouTube automation is getting so much traffic, getting so much research, getting so many views because people are looking for YouTube automation. They're looking for it. They need it. They're creating it because everyone has this, this fantasy of just, sitting at home and collecting a lot of money and not working that hard. And that's why I call it a fantasy because it is for most people a fantasy. 
it's just a fantasy. I have worked really, really hard over the years. And the storage auction business, that was some of the hardest work I've ever done in my life. And people are trying to run from that. They're trying to run from working hard. They're trying to run from analysis. People just want something simple, easy that they can do, that they can make a lot of money. And that's why I call it a fantasy because the reality is it's just not going to happen for most people. And this is one of the reasons that YouTube automation is big because literally I've seen some of the videos that you can pay people in a third world country $50 to edit your video, to create your video, to script your video. And uh, the Black Hustlers Club, which I feel put out one of the best videos on YouTube automation. He's like, none of that stuff's true. He's just none of that stuff's true because essentially, let's talk about creating like the house of cards. Um, on Netflix, the budget for that show was like five or six million dollars per episode. Per episode, Breaking Bad, the best shows invariably will be high cost productions. And if you want to now, if you're doing all the work yourself, you're doing the editing, you're doing the voiceover, because you know, right now, I will say. If you want to spend the time learning to edit, there's a ton of videos on YouTube that'll teach you how to edit a video. There's tons of videos, really good videos. And you know, this YouTube automation, because like, and this is something else that's gonna be in the training. YouTube money, directly money from AdSense, is the least amount of money I make. It's the least amount of money I make. I've never made a lot of AdSense money but I've never gotten a tremendous amount of views, but I have made millions from selling my own stuff. So yeah, you know, the truth of selling from a broken channel is kind of interesting because it's way better than I expected it would be. And it's just going to get better and better and better each month as we continue to move forward, as we continue to do certain things. So one of the things that you have to understand is your audience is everything. And this is one of the things that, you know, I feel that I've done, I'm not going to say a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent on building a better audience. Cause that's the key. That is 100% the key. But I would say when I was acting a little funky, I was about 70%. And now I'm 100% toward building an audience of people who want to start businesses, an audience of people who want to start corporations, an audience of people who want to develop that corporate citizen life. Because one of the things I flipped up is I started making content for the prime level of audience. And I can tell you, um, tomorrow I'm going to do the uh, giveaway for the best comment on the channels because, uh, I don't know, I may do it as a live stream. I haven't really decided. I'm going to do that. And I can tell you once that kicks off, because here's the thing, and this, this is the thing that so many people miss. The beginning is always rough. The beginning is always rough. And once that kicks off and people see that I'm actually doing that, the number of better comments is just going to quadruple. It's like, whoa, he's actually doing that. Because see, you know, once again, you, you have to understand the process and the building stages and, you know, like I said, I, I had some people who I feel shouldn't be here talking about, oh, that's just too much work. You, you want a paragraph for me to write a comment? And this person left one, two, five comments in a row because to say, I don't want to work that hard, but you should reward me for just showing up, you know? And that's a person that should probably be disappearing because one of the things is I've noticed as I've changed the content and I've changed the angles and stuff that people just been simply, oh, I'm not going to mess with him, which is cool. If I'm not putting out the type of content that you want to see there, I guarantee you there's a YouTuber here on the, on the platform that is putting out that content. I guarantee you there's someone putting out that content. So one of the things 
that you know we're gonna do, and this is gonna get bigger, better, bolder, deafer. We're, we're going to really, really do a lot of different things because um, there's so many things I have in plan, plan for you guys. And I just wanna say thank you to the loyal supporters. I wanna thank you to the students and the people who are in the I Eat Fire. I'm gonna do a video on that. I need to do a video on that. And as we go through this build out phase, because here's the thing, this is just the beginning. This is the beginning. And what do I always tell you guys? The beginning is always rough. It's always rough for anyone starting a business to be in. And there was someone who left a very long um, comment talking about he started a cleaning business. And he said, you know, my advice about starting a service business was 100% spot on. And he's ran into a problem that we're going to address hiring. Hiring people for service jobs in this current environment is a nightmare. You just got people who just simply, they want to work, but they want to work for a certain wage. And these jobs, these certain, they just don't pay that kind of money, but that's the kind of money they want to make. So really, really good comment. Really, really good. I, I, I mean, he watched the video and I'm just sitting there like, you know, and this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get more and more and more and more comments like that because I really care about you guys. I want you to be successful. And I know if I was to sit down and to lie to you and to put out this all this garbage stuff, there is no way that you would be successful. There is no way that you would be successful because I'm not telling you the truth. And one of the things that I can, you know, I can say that other than a social experiment, and there's only been a few, and I'm not gonna do any more social experiments with the audience like I used to, that's something that's gone. Um, I've never lied to you guys. And I think that is one of the reasons that I'm still here, I'm still able to generate income, I'm still able to sell stuff, because I have never lied to you guys outside of a social experiment. And there hasn't been that many. So there will not be any more social experiments. I'm not doing that anymore because, you know, when I did the social experiment that I was going to be a father, people got pissed. And I was like, okay, we're not going to do that anymore. We're not going, because essentially one of the things that I've done over the last three months is respect my audience. And man, I am seeing the results of respecting my audience, the better comments, the lack of craziness, people who shouldn't be here leaving. So yeah, it's a lot of things that are going and a lot of things that are happening. So I just wanna say thank you to all of the people who are here, who respect the content, who respect the training. And I'm here to tell you, it's gonna be a, a lot more, a lot more that's coming because I'm getting ready to do something very, very different. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. Once again, YouTube training is gonna be really, really different. Um, my goal is, and let me just tell you what my goal is with this training, is to teach you how to create a YouTube channel that makes you livable income. You know, I'm not interested in making you like $50 or maybe $500. I wanna get you to $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 using a YouTube channel, using a small YouTube channel. That's what I want you to get there. And there's so many ways to do it with the new version of YouTube. It's, it's getting ridiculous because there's something that I need to do that I've been planning to do, but I haven't gotten around to it. And I will be discussing this with the students. So that's all I got for you to join the new YouTube stuff. It's below. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.